Hello everybody, I am here to talk to you today about a Bernina 730 that I picked up with a few things wrong with it. And uh, one item was a known issue and you'll find a fair bit of information out on the internet about it. And that is mechanism in the top here which controls all of the stitches. And uh, it's the little, the little wheel that you can see right there and actually there's the crack right there in the wheel and that's going to need to be changed however i've been told nightmares about uh, buying wheels that are inferior so i'm going to try to get the actual bernina part i always recommend using original parts where you can however this machine also has another problem that i'm going to address today and it's the feed dogs and the machine you're able to stitch with it with that knob in that position or do darning in that position and it's supposed to inactivate the feed dogs and in this case it wasn't doing it um, this was really hard to move at first and it's freed up quite a bit now and uh, it was just from sitting i believe it was in the stitch position uh, since 1969 when this was, machine was made. So one technique that I wanted to make sure I tell you about because we're going to be taking the bottom plate off of this machine and that's to how to break those screws free and not damage them or a technique that I use actually on a lot of a lot of things not just sewing machines but it's a pretty handy technique involving a crescent wrench. In this case I have my beautiful snappy and just the largest screwdriver that you can find and uh this is going to go on those base screws so flip that over and i'll just show you what i'm talking about okay and that's here's the screw here i hope you can see it you'll get the gist anyway but i'm going to put the screwdriver into the screw and I'm going to hold pressure on it and I'm going to use a, you know sometimes have an assistant pin the machine down if you need thankfully these Bernitas are uh, got a little mass to them and so what I'm going to do is press down on the screwdriver while I'm using my crescent wrench to break that screw free and that should save you some grief at some times Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and remove this bottom plate. Um, hopefully you're at least mechanical enough to get to this point. It's no big deal, really. Uh, some screws taking the motor off. And these three are going to take this base off. And then we'll have a look at what's been hanging up in this machine. Okay, so we're under the machine now. I'll try and blow this up a little bit. And... Well, I guess you can see that. Now, this is working. Uh, this this is not seized anymore. Uh, I did manage to freeze it up, unfreeze it, sorry. Uh, I thought that I was gonna have to take that shaft out. If you see this little mechanism, this is what locks two pieces together uh, to make the feed dogs work or to allow the feed dogs to be disengaged. And so this is under the machine with the top plate or sorry, the bottom plate removed, and basically this is what is hanging up. And uh, see how that's moving independent now? Those two were seized together, and I thought they were so stuck I wasn't going to get them apart. Now, so just to, uh, this is pretty well it. You just got to get that freed up and your problem is solved. How do you do that though? In my case, I used a uh, product called gun wash out of my paint room be very careful with anything that's flammable always use a small amount but i took gun wash and i used it on a q-tip and i put it uh, in everywhere around those joints and i just started to uh, free them up and i also used wd-40 which does not belong in a sewing machine unless you're using it to unfreeze or unseize two pieces which uh, was very helpful in this case i was able to get uh, right in and shoot WD-40 that, that managed to 
free up that little piece and now it works like a charm so that's it and i hope it helps somebody and uh thanks for watching bye bye